Welcome to a brand new season of Whale News with Pam. I know you've missed me. I've missed you too. You may be wondering, why are you back, Pam? I can't tell you how many people have asked me to bring this mini series back. The reason I am back is because of one whale. Her name is Lolita. On this season of Whale News with Pam, I'm going to keep you posted on what's going on with Lolita, whose real name is Toki for short, but her stage name that everyone knows is Lolita. Now, for those of you that don't know who she is, let me take you down memory lane. Lolita was captured in 1970 at just four years old. During this horrific capture, four whales died and seven were sold off to the marine parks. Some of you that watch this are probably going to say, what's the big deal, Pam? And for that, here's not one, but two beautiful middle fingers. Some of you watching this have children of your own. Imagine being Lolita's mother and having your baby kidnapped and used and abused her entire life just for human entertainment. Back to the story. Lolita was captured from the waters of the Puget Sound at, again, just four years old. For the first 10 years, she lived in the marine parks located in Florida. She lived with an orca named Hugo. He unfortunately died of a brand aneurysm in 1980. Fast forward to 2023, Lolita hasn't had another orca in her tank since 1980. That's 43 years of isolation. Some of you can't even stand to be alone for an hour. If you've learned anything from my episodes here on Whale News with Pam, it's that killer whales are extremely social animals that have feelings just like us. In fact, scientists have done IQ studies comparing humans to orcas. In one study, they showed that orcas have an IQ that is equivalent to a 15 to 16 year old. That's incredible. That's smarter than some of my 30 plus year old friends. Lolita is a southern resident whale. She is also the last orca out of the 45 that were captured for display in an aquarium between 1965 and 1973. Of course, there are people out there saying if they release her, she may not make it. But doesn't she deserve to live her last days, weeks, years free though? She lives in an 80 foot long by 35 feet wide pool that is only 20 feet deep. To give you some context here, Lolita is a 7,000 pound orca that's 22 feet long. So she's taller than how deep her pool is. So this is the most exciting part, okay? If they succeed in releasing her, she will be reunited with her family, the L pod of the Southern resident orcas. And her mother is still out there with the rest of her family. They know her family has been out there this whole time. Imagine you get taken from your family, right? And then you're being displayed. But then years later, they're like, yo, Pam's family's still out there. Should we like maybe send her back to our family? I don't know. Yes. Tomorrow, Thursday, March 30th, there's going to be a press conference at the International Hotel in Miami to see what's going to happen with this whale. Stay tuned, though, for more Whale News with Pam this week as I bring you coverage on this historical moment. You heard me. This is going to make history. As always, free the nips, free the whales. <laughs>